So, here we go. Uh, I'm back. We have the stuffed peppers ready to be stuffed. I've taken the rings off of the bell peppers and basically I've cleaned out the bell pepper. This is what it's going to look like when, it, when you first pop the insides out. You can keep these seeds here if you like, if you uh, want to uh, compost or anything like that. These seeds, if they have not been refrigerated, can go and be planted. Just throw them out into the yard and they will eventually grow some bell pepper trees or bushes. Now, over here, I've taken the rings of the bell peppers. I've thrown them in here with an onion and one tomato and approximately seven cloves of garlic. Then, over here, we're going to check on our sauce. As you can see, our sauce is condensed down quite a bit. Um, I have it, again, on a very low heat. I'm going to turn it up just a slight bit. So that way we can cook it a little quicker here and uh, see if we can get that condensed down quite a bit. Then I'm going to start making the stuffing for the uh, bell peppers. Now, as you can see, I'm working in a very small area. It's an apartment and I will film it right here. It's a very, very small area. It's approximately uh, three feet wide maybe uh, eight feet long, okay? Which is convenient for one person. If you're looking to do some really nice meals for one person and you live by yourself, this is ideal. And I make quite a bit of sauce and um, that I can freeze it. I can save it for later. I, I, there's no way I'm going to eat that many stuffed peppers today. However, occasionally I will have some friends over. I can pull them out of the freezer and they're ready to go. And again, they're homemade. And when I look at what I spent in the store for the frozen product, and I decided to go back into cooking, because many times I've worked in restaurants, and I understand the quality of food that you can get. So I prefer cooking myself. That way I know exactly what I'm getting. Now, again, let me walk over here. As you can see, the sauce is starting to boil. I'm going to stir it up a little bit for us. And it's, it's thickened up. Um, it, it really hasn't thickened up. What it's doing, though, is it's starting to get, take that water off of the tomatoes, or the, the water that's in the tomatoes, and it will start thickening up. As you can see, I left a few of the seeds in there. I didn't blend them up because I, I just like that look of the fresh homemade spaghetti sauce okay and then we'll have uh, my brother test it out today uh, again this this sauce will not have any meat in it today okay zero meat so if you're a vegetarian this is perfect for you again um, for the stuffed peppers however there will be uh, uh, ground beef inside of them and, and on for the eggplant I will make fried eggplant with breadcrumbs and I will uh, garnish it with some garlic and olive oil and that that again will be something my brother will like because he he's Italian just like I am okay excuse my voice it's a little hoarse today I've been talking quite a bit at, uh, doing another project but I just wanted to film this because I've been waiting so long to to do my own food network video so I wanted to take the time and do this myself, being that I was cooking a fine Italian dish. And when I say Italian, I mean it's Italiano. Do you know what I mean? Okay, so let's go back to uh, getting the uh, meat prepped up. I'm going to go into the refrigerator. As you can see, I have little various items in our refrigerator. And I'm going to grab the meat. And it, it is ground beef, as you can see. It's ground beef. And it is 72% and 27% fat. But as you can see, I got some pretty decent meat. Okay, so we're going to put that here right now. Let me shut this. I have some farm fresh eggs. Again, I've got the cage-free, simple truth, natural eggs. 
and they're the brown ones. We like the fresh eggs, and I will use those for our our um, stuffing. That and basically, what the eggs are going to do is just kind of hold the meat together. So when we um, add the stuffings, and, and if I if I have any extra, I'm going to make meatballs. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and shut this down so I can prep and wash my hands, and I'll prep everything again. This here, I'm going to blend that up, and we'll get that prepped up. I'm actually just going to chop it up a little bit. I'm going to add that to our stuffed peppers. Excuse me. Uh, yeah, to the meat, to the stuffed peppers, so that way when I add the spices. And I'll come back when I do add the spices for the, the meat, so that way you can see what how much spices I put in there. 